Hello everyone, Matthew Hawkins back again with another video. Now, what started five years ago, sir, it, at Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida, was NXT TakeOver. Since then, it's been to London, it's been to Toronto, where it's going to come back, been to Brooklyn, and um, you know, it's been all over the place. Just to name a few places. It is the 25th edition of NXT TakeOver in, of all places, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yes, as close as to WWE's world headquarters in Stanford. Um, it's in Bridgeport. Fair enough. This will also be the first time, I believe, since NXT TakeOver the end. Three years ago, that NXT TakeOver will be a standalone event. That's if you don't count NXT UK TakeOver back in January. The stand up world event, you know, where it wants support near WWE pay per view. And obviously, the height, the bar is pretty high after double or nothing last weekend. And a lot of people are speculating that this will be WWE's answer to double or nothing. And here is now my predictions for NXT TakeOver 25. Right, we start with a special singles match it is the King of Bros, Matt Riddle versus R Roderick Strong. Now, uh, I'm going to make a plan, but I'm going to go with Matt Riddle on this one. Um, no, I'm reason thinking yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Matt Riddle. Uh, sounds like he's out for revenge on Roderick Strong, so I think that's why I'm going to go for him on this. Very quickly, moving on now to the vacant NXT Tag Team Championships as the Viking What Raiders are they now? You know, since they got called up to the main roster, that's a vacate the uh, titles, uh, what, the War Raiders. Uh, and all the Viking, there was the Viking experience and all the Viking Raiders um, in the, on the main roster. Bloody hell, not very good. So yeah, uh, it's now vacant. You've got the undisputed errors, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, if memory serves me right. It is the Street Pop Profits, it is the Forgotten Sons, and then Oni Orkin and Danny Birch. I've gone with the Street Profits because I think this is their first takeover. Uh, I think they're going to, uh, I think, you know, they could be set for a push up the card. I think this would be a great way to do it, so I'm going to go with Street Profits on this one. Moving on, it is the NXT North American Championship. It is the Velveteen Dream against, coming down from the main roster, NXT alumni Tyler Breeze. Obviously, he's been, he's one of them who's come on, well, I'm not sure how much fanfare on the main roster, only to get blown into obscurity. So, I'm, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Velveteen Dream. I'm just not very confident they're going to put the belt on Tyler Breeze, given he's really a main roster guy if he's here to I'd only allow it if he's here to stay if, he, if Tyler Bridge is here to stay back down for a bit he's been sent down wait well, to be fair he's better off I'm gonna go with Velveteen Dream over Tyler Breeze on this one moving on to the NXT Women's Championship it is Shayna Baszler versus I Ayu Shirai I believe Ayu Shirai I'm not gonna pronounce it right I always think I've got it right and I'm kind of going with Shayna Baszler because I think she's just a beast. It's just hard to tip against her again. I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler on this one. And then moving on to the main event. Very, very quick, these predictions. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of going double or nothing again. I, it seemed to work last week, so I might as well do it again this week. Might try it again. Uh, it's Johnny Gagano defending against Adam Cole. And I'm going to go with Adam Cole because uh, it's 50-50 booking. Oh, wait. This is NXT. Where... 50-50 booking shouldn't really be a thing. It's different from Raw and SmackDown. So I'm, with that, I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano. I think I've got more confidence in going with Johnny Gargano on this one. Well, that's my predictions for NXT TakeOver 25, guys. What do you think of them? And what are your predictions for this NXT TakeOver 25? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't, fair enough. You know, no hard feelings. Don't forget to tell your friends how much of a great YouTuber I am. And if you like what you see here and you want some more, don't forget to click that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know whenever the hell I post next. And don't forget, as always, to follow me on Twitter at Hawkins and score my US. And if you need some cheer, have no fear, Big Mac Hawk is here.